Hey Virgos, welcome back to channels. Kelly from House of Virgo. So I'm going to bring back your weekly readings on Sundays. Um, we're going to take a look at love, take a look at your finances for the week ahead, what to expect, and uh, just general, okay? So if you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. You can also go over to my other channel, Loom Pie Tarot, where I upload all the other zodiac signs, okay? So let's get into this. Hello, everyone in the chat. What's up? All right, and one general message here to see what is coming up for you. <laughs> okay. Okay, very interesting. Um, hmm. What is coming up for you? this week okay all right so you're starting with obviously engagement ring okay all right well so on the left front engagement partnership commitment eternity completion and union so looks like some of you are going to be getting into a committed relationship this week with someone let's see let's try to get more information on this Oh, wow, for sure. Okay, Ace of Cups here. There's definitely a new beginning. You might be meeting somebody new and you guys start dating. Yep, that definitely is showing up for you guys this week. Let's see, could be just, <clears throat> for some of you, this is someone that maybe couldn't make a decision, is now able to make a decision. Um, there might have been someone in your life or someone that you have a connection with currently whom maybe they were looking at their options or trying to figure out they might have been apathetic to committed relationship of some sort um, but this is definitely a surprise I feel like this is going to surprise you Virgo going forward this week okay so what oh my gosh this week we are already at the 22nd through the 29th of July. It's almost the end of the summer here. Okay. Wow. This is very good. Very positive energy. Somebody's coming out in the open here. Could be a Leo you might have a connection with. But there is definitely going to be a brand new beginning in love with you and someone in particular. Okay. <clears throat> or at least a brand new beginning in your love life happening here. Uh, I do feel like somebody's definitely, like you guys are going to choose each other. Um, and this feels like a blessing in a lot of ways. Um, and I feel like somebody, but you, you know, I, I got to say, there's just something here that I'm looking at this Four of Cups and he, Oh, there's something about the energy of you in a lot of ways <clears throat> where you might be kind of skeptical. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> you might be a little bit like, is this like really? That's kind of what I feel like your energy is, you know, like pinch me. Is this for real? Yeah, look, you know, the Knight of Cups. You have the six of wands the king cup so this could be the first court card could be a water sign as well but yeah this person's coming in this week and i feel like at first you might not really be too sure like i don't know if you're, you might have a little doubt <clears throat> some of you might be already in this thing in your life where you might feel like no this is never going to happen I've, res I've resigned myself to being single as a Pringle, living my life, doing what I'm doing, enjoying my pets, enjoying family, <laughs> being out in nature, that kind of energy. But I, I think you're going to be surprised by whomever the person is, like King of Cups, Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, could be their sun, their moon, their rising, or Venus. So definitely a proposal, romantic offer. Um somebody making a decision or two people deciding to progress a relationship or move something forward here so this week looks pretty good on the love front virgo 
see if there's anything else for her needs to know. Wow. Okay. This, so there's a relationship here. This is like divine timing to people being brought together after something ending. There's healing, renewal, and hope. We also have Sagittarius energy in the star with this. You, if you were with this person already, there might have been some difficulty in this relationship where somebody felt um, kind of like hurt, very hurt or like a wounded war. Somebody's like bruised from maybe there's trauma. That's what they're saying. Trauma due to deception or somebody running away or an energy of like someone feeling left out in the cold. Like I hope that's not the case, but <clears throat> I just kind of get a sense that there, there might have been some kind of struggle. So you might if this is somebody new for you, which the Ace of Cups is, can be a new energy or a new person. If this is somebody new for you, <clears throat> they've been through it, you've been through it. Um, the older you are, the more baggage you have, right? The more heartbreak you have. Um, I don't really feel like this is someone that you're connecting with in a sense that you've known this person where there's this very deceitful energy. It may have maybe felt like something was going on. But like I said, it very well could be. I've, I do feel like you have suffered. You felt like you've been abandoned or left out in the cold. Yeah, that energy does play. But, you know, with the star here, there is this healing, renewal, hope energy playing out here. Like some kind of miracle happening is how I feel in regards to a relationship going forward, you know, and it feels positive. This is the star is like a wish. So it's a wish that's being made and being granted in regards to this the relationship. So it feels good. It feels happy. Um, feels positive. I feel like for you, you might have just like I was saying before, resigned yourself to just being single on, on your own and cutting people off or just not really looking to date. But that, that's when it comes. That's when the love happens, right, Virgo? So I kind of feel like that's the energy playing out this week. Yeah, somebody's definitely like there's a lifestyle. There's things are shifting and changing. In your love life so you'll get an offer or a proposal from someone <clears throat> moving i'm hearing you'll have a pleasant surprise there's there will be a pleasant surprise this week that's the biggest message that i'm getting and some of you might even get that ring and sell it right now i'm just kidding <laughs> all right you have gifts yeah a gift you are uncovering new talents that you will that will land you new work and a better position you could get more money with the deal as well. You also have shedding. You're starting to outgrow your work situation. You need to set higher goals and standards. You work well in healing and medicine. Okay. Um, so I feel like there's money coming in, like a gift of money, like an Ace of Pentacles kind of thing, a gift of money coming in that's going to give you a little bit of reprieve, I feel, so that you can... I want to say start on some kind of new career path or do something new um, because I feel like what you've been doing either you're getting tired of it or it's becoming boring you're just it maybe you're not into it or maybe you want to delve in deeper into what you're doing but in a different area like a different position all right let's see yeah just like I was saying ace of pentacles there's some kind of a gift of money coming in for you and this is going to give you an opportunity. It's like a reprieve is how I feel this week. It's like you could put the money in the bank. You could live off that for a little while while you, while you make a transition or while you make some kind of change. Okay, you have the high priestess. It's a secret gift. It's a secret gift of money coming in. It's like a blessing. Um... It's, it feels like it could be an anonymous gift you might receive or it's a gift coming in where somebody it could be some kind of a loan like it's secret it feels very secretive to me I feel like this gift that's coming in 
is coming in at the right time because they see you really struggling, being kind of like hitting rock bottom. I see you. I see you. Either you already are hitting rock bottom or you have. Okay, it could be a lottery win. Who knows? It's a gift. It's unexpected. <clears throat> so you're at some kind of, oh man, how am I going to do this? How am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to manage? You know, and at the same time, you might be thinking, well, I don't know if my work is going to be able, if I continue in this line of work, I don't know if it's going to help pay my bills. And some of you, like I said, you're kind of outgrowing your work situation. Yeah, hmm. this is interesting. This is kind of like getting this money is going to give you an opportunity to like a springboard. They're showing me a springboard to launch from. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. You're so totally going to be okay. Yes. Whatever this new new job or new adventure in your career, um, whatever you get spring catapulted into because of this gift of money, I feel like These are two tens. I feel like this hitting rock bottom kind of thing in your finances is going to just totally shift due to this gift, which was going to give you an opportunity to go, like I said, make more money or do something different or, or you know, reach higher goals. Setting higher goals and standards for yourself is going to bring more wealth. Yeah, you have the Seven of Wands and the Eight of Cups. It's like, can't nobody stop me now. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> it's just, <coughs> I heard this word. Can't nobody, I'm going after my dreams here. I'm going to fight for my dreams. Yeah. And, and so I'm kind of getting this sense of like, there might be people around you this week who say, no, you don't want to do that. That's not a good idea. Or, they haven't, somebody's got an opinion, one, two, three, one person or a bunch of people have an opinion about how you should spend your money or what you should do. But I feel like what's most important to you here this week is to do some type of work that you love that's also going to bring pay, bring a nice bundle of pay for you. Yeah, yeah. Your, your goal here is to have some type of fortune, right? Um, wealth, okay? Now this is the spin in the wheel. Some of you are gonna take some of that money and go gamble it and you're gonna hit big. I'm gonna tell you that right now. You might bet, you might, you know, throw some chips down on the table somewhere. Some of you are gonna do that. Like, I just feel like this whole week so far is full of pleasant surprises for you. Okay, whether, whether you're actually gambling or whether you are just reaching, like the wheel is turning in your favor, you're beginning to, you get some kind of gift of money and that sets you off on a new course or somebody pays a loan, a school loan off or something, you're free, like money frees up. So it's either, that it could be a gift like that. Your um, a loan is forgiven. Or you get access to money based on um, certain grants or programs this week. Yeah, and you're going to have a lot of options now because of that, is because of this money that's freed up. A lot of options in your career. Look at this. You know, this is kind of like, do I want to invest to make more money? Do I want to go buy a, a home? Do, do something... Is that a kitty cat? Do I want to do something with animals I'm hearing? I'm trying to zoom it in, but it really won't zoom in anymore. Do something with animals. Um, Y'all, I don't know what the hell this is on the left. I don't have the booklet to this deck. Either that's a, a skinless alien or some of you are going to go and work in the food industry, be a chef or, or maybe own a restaurant, spending the money. I don't know what the hell that is. Or is it a horse? I don't, y'all, what is it? Can you make that out? Is it just me? 
all I saw is all I see is like a skinless like skinwalker alien <laughs> I'm talking about seriously you got a mermaid down here on the left you got a rainbow you have all the these jewels you have the butterflies some of you might want to take that money and go on a vacation or go traveling um, I don't know maybe that's just like a whole bunch of like beef cubes or something what is that is it a horse I like honestly let's see if we can try and zoom in even closer it's like bacon is it bacon in a cup <laughs> it could be a horse I don't know. I can't see it. I'm sure when I look away and give it a break, then I'll be able to make out what it is. But I'm wasting time here. I know. Skinless horse? Yeah, I don't know. That's definitely a kitty. Okay. So anyway, weird reading, right? <laughs> but you're going to have a lot of options to try to figure, like, to choose from because of some type of wealth coming in for you for sure you are you know the less money you have the less options you have well you get some some you get some type of ability to spend and now you can pick and choose where you want to put your money okay maybe you want to go live by the sea buy a place by the sea or uh, spend some time on an island uh, some of you just, you're going to get involved in gems and jewelry. Um, I mean, I just see so much. I'm just hearing lucky charms. Something to do with lucky charms. Okay. And there you go again. Knight of Swords. So this is lifestyle change for sure. Okay. This is going after what you want. I even feel like you're not going to have to work as hard. Ten of Wands. Like the end of a struggle here due to this gift coming in. So I feel like I just keep repeating myself. So what we're going to do is, oh yeah, even charity, being able to give back. You receive some type of uh, maybe charity. Um, somebody helps support you by this gift. And then you're able to give back as well. I mean, I just love it. Just love it. Okay. So now you do have a vacation. You do have a vacation coming up. Okay. You will be traveling soon. That's the message. You will be traveling soon. Let's take a look and see if we can figure out where. Are you going alone? Are you going with someone? Okay. So you do have the Empress. Could be traveling with um, a mother or traveling to see a mother or mother's traveling to see you or it doesn't have to be your mother. It could be. It could be um, a friend or a sibling who's actually a mother. There could be a pregnancy showing up here. Oh, I'm, they're giving me like... Um, Going somewhere where there's, going on a vacation where there's performances. Could be like a cruise or a city, spending time in a particular city where there's uh, performances and shows, things like that, or going to see like a, a magic show or a comedy or some, a performer. Okay. Something I feel like that's being planned. So you may already know about this. It's like planned, okay? A planned vacation that you might be taking this week or you're putting in the final amount to purchase the, 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 the trip this week or somebody's putting in a final amount to, you know, it's like you guys have been paying something, paying for something, saving up, finishing what has started. So there's an energy of finishing and being able to take some type of vacation this week yeah it could be with like friends as well for some of you i'm hearing like a dating cruise not sure what that is but 
I guess like a dating cruise, but there's also um, could be a reunion, some parties, socializing, gatherings, on vacation, indulging, festivities. Could be a wedding, engagement party, baby shower, a graduation, happy times, some type of a vacation, spending time with others. You could be putting on some type of party this week and you've got people coming this week. And they're using this visitation because it's like July, August for as a vacation. And there's something going on at night. Could be a nighttime thing. Hmm. Okay. I'm seeing a nighttime event. The, the, the parties are at night. I'm also picking up like fireworks here and drinks. Yes. There's going to be some fireworks somewhere and drinks. Like a like a buffet even or drinks, a bartender having a good time. There's a pool or there's water, like a lake or an ocean. This is, it feels like an expensive. It feels expensive, like an expensive party or an expensive. A um, lot of money being put out for this. Okay. Family being apart, homecoming reunions. Like I said, there's some kind of a party. It's it's not just a vacation where you're. I feel like you're going to go on a beach and you're just going to lay there for seven days and not talk to anyone. No, this is heavy social gatherings as part of this vacation. It's included. So you could be, like I said, you could be in a resort or on a ship. There's a lot of activity on this vacation. You could be going somewhere where there's there's like a like it's like a festival or there's rides or attractions as well. <clears throat> Lots of rides, attractions, dinners, drinks, performances, like shows, entertainment. Um, is there any relaxation on this? Nighttime entertainment, I hear. Some of you are gonna be like, oh, I'm so exhausted, spending so much money. <laughs> but hey, it's a vacation. Spend it. Spend it. Go have fun. Okay. Hmm. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Oh, there's going to be some, um, some offers while you're on this vacation invitations to buy like a romantic invitation or two while you're on this vacation you might actually i mean I, somebody might buy you a drink or you might buy someone a drink i'm hearing could you listen it could be a soda i don't know it's whatever but i, I do feel like there might be a little bit of like a a love kind of thing <laughs> a little traction some affection a feeling of being swept off your feet Maybe you're going to be out dancing or having a good time. Yeah, I do kind of feel, here you go, there's the world. So definitely travel. This is going to be a really great time for some of you. Well, hopefully all of you. Um, you're really going to love this. I feel like this time, this vacation, You're even if it's just you're hanging out with one person or you're just going and socializing a whole bunch of people, it's going to be a very successful, if you're hosting something, it's going to be successful. Yes, everybody's going to feel a sense of belonging. It's going to feel like they this was the best thing, that entertainment, the best party, the best whatever. It's just going to be so successful. I feel it's like really positive this week. Like in all areas, the, the overall arching theme, I feel like for this reading is that there's, Pleasant surprises in all areas. Now we have the full buck moon that's occurring right now. Um, and this is a time of setting your intentions, right? So whatever your fears are, you need to let them go. If you have a fear of getting old, if you have fear of not having enough money, if you have a fear of never meeting anybody, all that junk, you need to let that go. Um, because I feel like once you do set those intentions, all this good stuff starts coming in for you. 
because you, you, you remove the fears. So you're not telling the universe or telling the moon anymore that you're scared. You're, you're saying, bring it pretty much, bring it. And it gets brought. And I also feel like this week also focus because it's a full moon in Capricorn. Capricorn is all about business, enterprising, uh, finances and investments. So really focus on your work this week. It's extra, extra important that, you know, you do that because you need to live. <laughs> and obviously, because I do see like there's some money coming in, like a gift of some sort, you don't want to take that. I don't generally know Virgos that have a spending problem, but if you're one of those Virgos that just wants to you know, you get your money and you're like, drinks for everyone. I feel like put it away, put it behind, put it in savings of some sort to figure out what you want to do, right? If you need to live off a little bit of it, that's fine. But some of it, like very focus on where you're investing for your future. That's really what I'm, the overall message that I'm getting. Okay, here. So let's, I want to get a couple of, couple of moon pie tarot messages here and see what is going to be showing up here for you okay big message trust your intuition the answer lies deep within you trust spirit wait for answers to be revealed to you okay you also have new love beginnings a motherly figure will be guiding you you are divinely blessed. Open your heart to receive. Cherish your children, animals, and be one with love. Beautiful message. Anything else here for Virgo? Okay. And you have a mature, dynamic, fiery male. So that could be you or someone coming into your life this week. That would be fiery. Could be a fire sign. Or it could just be there. They have a lot of energy, dynamic kind of an energy. Okay. And you have reflect. Go into your cave for a while. You need to regroup and recollect. A lot is going on. You need some alone time. Stay in the stillness and the quiet, but don't get lost. If you have to tell people you're taking a vacation <laughs> and pull out for a little while, you need a recharge and a loan is offered see you're getting something it could be a loan or a grant <clears throat> like i said you could get your college your tuition paid off forgiveness loan you could be receiving money from a bank or just a gift it could be an inheritance or something comes you know forward in that way because you did have the ten of pentacles which can be like retirement money or some type of an inheritance as well so all of that feels like super super positive i want to see what your messages of love might be for this week as well is there anything else okay you've got longing someone is secretly yearning for you virgo this week you also have true love with a soulmate Okay. There's a soulmate, true love. And I feel like that person is secretly longing for you. Well, yeah, secretly longing for you. I feel like they have a lot of regret and remorse for the way they treated you. They're a little bit obsessed. Longing and obsessed. And that does feel like a past life love. Your soul remembers this intense, yeah, it's a past life kind of person. Past life kind of person, y'all. Okay. We'll do some initials and see what shows up here. So we have Aquarius, Sagittarius twice. And let's see. We have a D, we have A, we have E, we have O. Okay, you have the letter N, Dion, Dion. Somebody's name might be Dion, I'm hearing. We have the letter S. We have Sean. There's a Sean. <clears throat> we have a Q and a K. Somebody's name is Quick. We have a king and a queen. We have a, a yeah, Q and a K. There's an A again. Another K. Kiki? KK? Okay. And again, oh my goodness. Oh, and wait. Yeah, wait. 
No, that's a Z. Sorry, some of these names start with a Z. Might have Susan. Okay, someone's birthday is in April. Someone's birthday is in February. All right, we have September 2nd. Someone's birthday, Virgo, September 5th. Uh, September 9th. August 30th. September 16th. I also have the letter I. Too many A's in here. Angelo or in Angela. Okay. August 31st is here. August 23rd. Get that money. Okay. So we have 66, 75, 55, 70, 37, 42, 47, 60, 80, and 81. Okay, that could be the year of your birth. It could also be your age. If you're 81 and you're here watching my channel, please say hello and let us know. Because <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, I just saw Scorpio and Aquarius. Okay, now Capricorn, all set. All right, let's get a couple of charms. All right, you got the peace. Wow, a lot of peace. And you have um, a dove with a, a, a dove with a four-leaf clover. Wow. So there's peace and two stars. Got a black star. Black star. Something. There's some connection to black star. I don't know what that means. And a star, a marquee. Oh, it could be an entertainment entertainer a black entertainer um, with the star marquee something could be um, like a show I said you're going to see it could be like a, like a comedian I was I don't know, keep giving me Dave Chappelle Chappelle I have never watched his stuff I mean he's so old school now I probably watched him like in the early 2000s I don't even remember but it's telling me something about Dave Chappelle right now okay so you have a peace sign so, yeah, I mean, I do feel like with these little charms here, apart from what I saw with the stars, I do feel like, you know, money doesn't bring happiness, but it does bring security. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And there's and security, when you feel secure monetarily, you feel a sense of calm and peace, right? Because you, you know that you're going to be able to pay your bills. You know that you're going to have food in your house, you know, or... It, even for the basic necessities, right? Not even just like electric, gas, heating and air conditioning, right? Having food, having clean clothes, just the necessities alone. You know, having all that extra stuff so that you could like be able to purchase all this extra stuff. I mean, sure, those are little bonuses and gifts, right? Everybody likes to have nice things, but just being able to pay your mortgage or pay your rent, like, I feel like that energy is going to come through for you, this gift or this money that will give you a sense of peace and make you feel very lucky, you know? So I don't know. I'm going to leave that there. I kind of like this reading. I mean, it was three different parts, but I do feel like you have a lot of good things happening for you. A lot of pleasant surprises this week. And I feel like, you know, whatever's going on in your life, stay positive because that brings positive things to you. Always keep positive. All right, Virgo, so I'll see you back here tomorrow <clears throat> for your next reading. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box. Just click that link. You can get a text reading or a phone reading. Let me know what you want to do. Have a great week. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Take care.